Okay, so for tonight's lesson, we want to look at a couple different function families and their characteristics. So here, as we've discussed, this is a linear function, or it's um, a function, the linear function family. Okay. Now we learned in class today that a function is anything that if you that passes the vertical line test. So what that means is if you could draw a vertical line from top to bottom and in multiple places on the graph, if it only crosses through at one time, that means it's a function, okay? So as we do this multiple times, that's a function, okay? And really a function is there's only one x for every y. So if we had, let's say we had this graph and then we had a point here, then this graph, this would no longer be a function because when I drew a vertical line, it would go through one point and two points. Um, this point right here is coordinate three, three, and then this coordinate right here is coordinate x is three and y is six, I think. So any time that you see that the x repeats itself, it means that there, it must have it in two spots, okay? So if we had a point here and here, now this would not be a function, okay? So we can say that this is a function. So that's the one, that's our first thing is all this linear equation or this linear graph is a function. The second thing we want to look at is whether it's increasing or decreasing. And when you look at it, um, whenever you read a graph, as we discussed, you always read a graph from left to right, just as you read a book. So if I look at the left and I follow it to the right, this is an increasing graph, okay? So this is a linear function, and then we would also call it increasing. Now we've done a little bit with domain and range. We know that domain is our x values and range is our y values, okay? So if I look at this graph, and I'm looking at just the domain, my x values. So those are the values along the x axis. So clearly here, it starts at um, where x is um, zero. Okay, if we look at that point, that's the lowest point. It's at zero, three. Okay, so my graph starts here and moves to the right and the arrow means it goes on there to infinity. Okay, so when I'm just looking at the x values, it starts at the zero on the x and it continues forever in this direction. So when I'm identifying the domain, we can say the domain is equal to when x is greater than, and because this is a point, that means it's equal to as well. So we can say equal to, and again, it started at zero and went forever to the right. So we'd say x is greater than or equal to zero. So it starts at zero and it goes on forever in that direction. Now, when we're talking about the range, we're talking about the y values. So when we look at the y values here, the y value is the lowest value is the three. And again, it's going forever in this direction. It's forever going to the right and increasing up. Okay, so when we're looking at the range, we would say y, and then again, it's going up, so we said we would say greater than, and it's included in that spot, or equal to, and then we would say three. Okay, so domain is the x, and then range is the y. The other thing we wanna look at <clears throat> with this graph is if it has a maximum or minimum. And maximum means it has um, a, the, a point at the top that, will, that it will stop at. And minimum means it has a bottom value point. So if we look at this one, this one goes forever um, increasing, but it starts right here, okay? It doesn't go into this part of the graph. So in this case, we would have a minimum. The smallest value it has is zero, three. So when I'm looking at this value, I would say it has a min minimum of, we can just put the coordinate, zero, three, okay? Because that is the bottom point. There's nothing back here. So it does have a minimum value. Now, if this line was um, a regular line, 
where it just kept going on this way. And it went forever to the right and to the left. We would say there's no maximum or minimum. It's going forever in both directions. Okay? All right, so let's look at another example. This one we know is a quadratic. Okay? And so, um, again, if we're looking, if it's a function, we look and see, does it pass our vertical line test? Will a vertical line go through it in just one time every single time? And the answer here would be yes. So this is, quadratics are a function family. So we would say, yes, it's a function. Okay. Um, we would also look to see what the domain would be. And again, this is where it gets a little more difficult. But um, we're going to look at the x values and the y values. So if we look at the x values, so that means we're going to look at where, how, where it goes in this direction and this direction since this is the x-axis. Okay, And so these arrows tell you it's going to go forever this way and it's going to go forever this way. Okay, So it's going to go forever in the positive x and go forever in the negative x. So because it's going forever in both directions, we say the domain is all real numbers. And all real numbers means every number. Fractions, decimals, percents, rational, irrational, goes on forever. Okay, so all parabolas will have the same domain because they will all have an arrow and they all go forever to the right and to the left. Now, when we look at the range, that's a little bit different because the range is the y value again. So if I look at the range here, that's the y. Okay, so clearly there's no part of the graph here. So the range starts at this point, and then it's going forever down. These are still going down and down. So this is going from this point down, okay? And this point is 0, 2. So it starts at the 2 on the range. So what we will say for the range is that for this parabola, y is less than or equal to, because it includes that 2, um, 2. Okay, so all y values, all these point values, will start at 2 and then go down. If you look at every single point, here this point would be um, 2, 0, y is 0, here y is 0, here y is negative 2, and if you keep looking at all these points, all the y values will be below the number 2. Okay, and then um, also we look and see if this is an increasing or decreasing function. Now remember, we read graphs from left to right, okay? So if I start at the left and I follow this, it's increasing and then it's decreasing, okay? So for this function, we would say it increases then decreases for um, this function family. So increases and then decreases. Okay. And the last thing is we're looking to see if it has a maximum or minimum. So um, this is the tallest point. It's not going to get above here, so this one is called your maximum. Okay. And there's no minimum because it goes on forever in the negative direction. So in this case, we will say that there is a maximum, and that ma maximum is at 0, 2. Okay. Oops. This that's my maximum point, okay? If it was this way, it would have a minimum point, okay? So we're going to start looking at those different um, types of functions tomorrow, okay, where we um, are going to start getting into where we identify the domain and range in a little more detail, and we're going to look for increases and decreases, and maybe we'll get to the maximum and the minimum, okay? So Angry Bird, he says goodnight. Take some good notes. I want to see both these types of graphs in your notes tonight. Good night.